Hey YouTube, Aiden slash just Aiden here in very poor lighting here to talk about playing slurs through the vowels. So we talk about this on bass drum on some, um, you know, there's exercises in the Brad Edward books and stuff about playing slurs through vowels. But I feel like trombonists don't quite do enough of this. Maybe with not quite the right mindset is more the right idea. Um, I just got this horn, so I've been playing a lot of stuff in the valve range to get used to how these play. And totally different than my Thayers, totally different than the Hagmans, um, pretty massively different than any other rotors that I've played, so I just need to play them a bunch to get used to them. And to do that, I've been playing lots of slurs through the valves to kind of go, this is what's going to change when I put the valve down, this is what I should do here, probably not a lot. Um, this is how I articulate, that's always going to be different. What should I do with my air? Um, how much air are they going to use? All sorts of things like that, right? Um, and this is something I feel like a lot of people, especially tenor trombonists, but also bass trombonists, don't spend enough time doing. So an exercise I would do, super simple, you just start on B flat and you slur to F below the staff. Nice and easy, I'm just going to use quarter notes. Once I do that, I might do it a couple times to feel more comfortable with it, I'll articulate it. To make sure that I'm not doing anything weird. If I can articulate it and make the articulations clean, then it's probably working right. right? And then I'll go down by half steps. First time on the articulated one, I didn't put the valve down fast enough. <laughs> the cat is knocking everything off of the desk. I didn't put the valve down fast enough, and so the articulation didn't line up with the valve. That was something I just learned. But of course, you can do this a whole bunch of different ranges, a whole bunch of different ways. One that I would recommend for tenor trombonists is something like this. To playing those notes that you're really used to playing, C and B in first, um, but moving to other notes and making them sound as similar as possible. Not not letting it be ba we ha we ha we ha. They should all sound really similar to each other. Um, on some valves, it's going to be easier. On some horns, it's going to be easier. Um, but that's something you have to do yourself anyway, right? There's no valve that is completely even. That sounds exactly like the straight trombone. And that's something you have to get used to. Um, something you can do on tenor or bass. Is playing the same note in all the different positions you can do it in to really try and make them all sound the same. Um, I mean, there's the apocryphal story about a uh, uh, oh man, I just totally spaced his name. Stefan Schultz, there we go, playing thousands of Fs in the staff, first in first position, and then in sixth position, and then in first position, and then in sixth position, and then in first position, and then in sixth, and just forever until his F in sixth position in the staff feels and sounds the same to him as the other one. Mine doesn't because I have not done a million zillion of those. But the valves are just as important to that, as that, right? Um, tenor trombone or bass trombones, we have three different options for that in the staff. Tenor trombones, at least you have two options for that. And I feel like a lot of people don't really explore what they can do with that valve C and first. And of course, the same thing goes for notes below the staff. <laughs> trying to make them feel and sound the same. That's the point of the valves after all. Yes, they fill in the lower range, but they're not there to make a different sound than the rest of the instrument. Um, some other valve slurs you can do um, that are more difficult. I don't even play that one very well. Um, going an entire fifth between a pedal note and a, a valve note going below that. And we're really trying to
trying to make that really liquid, the, the switch between those registers. It's pretty massive, right? It's a fourth, which is big in any range. I mean, now you're talking about a range that's far away from what's comfortable. Um, to make that really familiar is a really good thing. Um, down even lower than that, you can tell that playing the pedal F is easier than playing the pedal D because there's way more sound on pedal F. So I have to counteract that. The problem I run into in these registers is one, I don't sound super great, at least to me. And two, I like to do too much stuff with the face. And so one of the notes will suffer really greatly. It'll not center whatever. So I have to remind myself constantly, get out of the way of the air, just let the air do the work. Um, so there's tons of things you can do with valves, right? And I find that the more I work in these registers, um, doing slurs, articulating them as well, <laughs> down in pedal range, really makes my tonguing down there way more efficient because it has to be, right? Slur, tongue, air attack, all that kind of stuff. Work more on the valves, make up your own exercises. I don't, I mean, there's stuff I do out of the Brad Edwards book, but a lot of the stuff I just like, I don't like these notes, so I'm gonna play them a million times next to each other. That's basically the gist of my exercises. Play more on the valves, I'll see you guys next time.